meet in the once sleepy center of Nashville, Tennessee. These roads have transformed a town of country western bands and farmhands into a booming business hub. But for those left behind, alcoholism, drug use, and disorientation mean a world out of balance. The paramedics of the Nashville Fire Department are the only safety net for many of the lost souls wandering the lonesome highways of Music City. Drexel McClinton claims to be suffering from Tourette's syndrome, but Henry knows that with Drexel, it's never that simple. Drexel McClinton, that name will stay in my mind to the last breath. You call, we haul. He's known throughout the entire city. So I have been out of my medicine for a little while. The main problem is I'm not vomiting in the hotel. He have a spell where basically you will not hear from him for several months, and then all of a sudden you hear from him too much. As a matter of fact, when we don't hear from him, uh, we begin to worry. Is he alive? Yeah. Dealing with Tourette's and seizures. Yeah. You know, I stay here in the hotel. He gave me 50% off. You know, good Lord do everything for a reason. You're right. What's the name of the medicine director that you're uh, taking? <laughs> Kalonapin or Kalonadine. That's who just basically needs a ride. <laughs> he makes the rounds of emergency rooms. I think he lives with emergency rooms and EMS. Drexel is what paramedics call a frequent flyer. He calls 911 more than he should. Drexel is considered an abuser of the system. We have Mr. Drexel here. It would be great if we had non-emergency units for people like Drexel. We can send him to tree on this, actually. Yeah. Triage. These people seem to know you by name. This is my hospital. This yeah, is my Baptist Cares. <laughs> this gentleman right here has carried Drexel more times than he know him personally. You don't bring Drexel. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's a three Did you bring Drexel? He's one of our yeah. favorite people. Yeah. I've been with all Nashville's paramedics. This is the best one. Here. <laughs> well, thank you. It's the main. <laughs> on his way to an assault. It's not too far from the fire hall. It's about, a, it's about two miles. As a matter of fact, we're coming up on the, on the scene now. It's a female down on the sidewalk. What was that down? Get him She knows it. Uh-huh. She said he thought she had some money. He took a stick to her head. But Netta 
Lively was beaten over the head by a man who tried to rob her. How long ago did this happen? We're dealing with a lady that's had a history of mental problems. She's got a head injury from a friend of hers. I think the main problem besides treating her is going to try to convince her that we're here to help her. She's acting a little bit paranoid at the present time. Want to get on the No, I don't want to go nowhere. I thought you wanted to go to general and get that checked into. It's okay. You don't want to? It's okay, ain't it? No, we need to go get some stitches in Yeah. Can you go? Do you know her? Yeah. Come on, honey. Come on. You ready to go? You ready to go? Okay. Just come remember, on, on. we'll get you away from these people. Come on. Let's get you out of this crowd, okay? Let me help you, huh? There you go. Can you have a seat right there for me? What's going on? We're trying to get your head. You got a bad cut right there. No, I don't. Yeah, look at all the blood. Look at all the blood you lost. See, we're going to get you some help. My name is Henry. seen a lot worse. Have you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but we're just concerned about the blood you lost there on your shirt and out of your head there. Oh, that ain't tight. Yeah. yeah. That it's ain't got blood. it on your face. We'll get you down. Oh, wash I got blood up. on my face, yeah. man? It's dried up. We're going to wash it. Oh, face. no, man. Yeah. We're going to get it washed. Blood, blood on my face? It's a lot of it. Oh. I just I've been in trip, but my head hurt real bad it's, right now. It's a good reason to come in here and let him look at it. You ready? I'll be right with you. You ready, hon? Hey, here we go. Ready? Come on, let me help you. It's gonna be fine. Everything's okay, nobody's around. It wasn't like it was over there, everybody looking at you. There we go, it's fine. I'll be right with you. Don't forget my name now, it's Henry. If you need anything, it's hostile. Go with me. Oh, yeah. Be right with you. Okay. okay, I'm right here with you. You don't have to worry about it. Just have a seat right there. Right here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're doing fine. There you go. Okay, turn around. Put your legs up. There you go. I'm glad it wasn't a serious call. I think she got her medicine back in her system. She'd be a lot better. I think that's a bigger problem than the cut. Uh, What you do? What? All right. Open your mouth. Okay, good. Put me towards you. Put me towards you. Far away. Not so far. Okay, push me away. Get away. Get away. so much, ma'am. Uh, thank you, thank and you. I give you an A for nurse of the year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to the Commodore. Yeah, she knew raise. Commodore. <laughs> As Henry leaves the hospital, he bumps into an old friend. Yeah. We've been again, like, yeah. God, do everything for us. For a reason. Yeah, you're right, partner. We're still running calls, I tell you, ever since we left you. Take care, Gretchen. Wait till I tell the nurse who's coming to see her. I went outside to put the stretch in the unit. Mm -hmm. Drex was being registered. No, yeah. No, he left that. No, they don't have a psychiatric no. board. No, we're here. <laughs> oh, boy. Drex was like a bad penny. Every time you turn around, you're seeing I was just putting a stretch in the ambulance, and all of a sudden, he come walking by when I dropped him off about two miles down the road at another hospital. So. <laughs> Drexel, that name will burn in my mind for another. I'll probably leave, leave this earth saying Drexel. So.